Hi, I'm Laura, I'm the Yoga Girl, and I'm going to show you how to get into a pose uh, called Peacock Pose, or a variation of Peacock Pose. And it's also kind of a variation of a really advanced posture called Wounded Peacock, but we're going to be leaving our fingertips on the floor and having our legs in a diamond shape. So this pose does put a lot of pressure on the wrists, particularly the, the one wrist that you're supporting yourself with. Um, so please make sure you warm up really well. Um, and there are other ways you can strengthen your wrists, lots of high planks, chaturangas, even downward dog. So just make sure that your wrists are feeling really well warmed up and pretty strong. So in wounded, this wounded peacock pose variation, we're going to take our weight with one arm. Um, that one arm is going to be bent to a chaturanga position uh, with the elbow really low down in the belly. So it's kind of like a one-sided arm balance, although we are going to be using the fingertips of the other hand to kind of just help support us and, and help with the balance a little bit. OK, so it's kind of um, sometimes a bit of a confusing one for people to get into just how you can get your elbows so low down and still kind of then lift the body up. So I'll give you some cues and some pointers and hopefully it will help you to try it out. OK, so to come into our wounded peacock pose variation, we want to start off kneeling with the feet together and the knees apart. So there's a couple of hand variations you can try for this balance. Uh, the sort of traditional peacock hand position is with the fingers pointing towards the toes. But if it's easier on your wrists and easier to balance, you can always have the fingers pointing out towards the side. To set up, we want to kind of think of arching our back in a cat bend or a cat position. So pulling it in and pulling the belly in, arching and rounding the back so we can get our elbow really low down on our torso. So place your hand in the desired position. Kind of round the back a little bit. Getting the elbow nice and low down. I think with women, it helps to have it a bit more out to the side, closer towards the hips. The outside of the hips and um, for men you can have it further in towards the midline. Okay so let's extend the left arm up on the fingertips. Getting ready to take some of the weight onto your elbow. Starting to move the knees back. Really engaging the left arm. Gripping the mat. And then coming back down. So it's kind of hard to talk in that one. Ooh. Okay, so you really want to make sure you're firming your belly against the elbow and against the weight of your torso. Gripping the mat with your supporting hand will help to alleviate some of the pressure on the wrist. You want to kind of keep the hand active. Think of there's actually a little banda in the palm of the hand called Hasta Banda. So kind of think about making a very slight dome shape. It would just help not sort of dump all the way through the wrist just by keeping that hand active. So the balance is quite tricky. Make sure, don't be afraid to let the weight of your torso go into your elbow as long as you're keeping your abdomen nice and firm. The left arm is doing a fair amount of work. Even though it's up on the fingertips, the whole arm is engaged and the shoulders are strong. And just kind of play with tipping the balance back and forth and see if you can find that sort of sweet spot, that balance point. OK, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a fun one to try out. So just be careful of your wrists. Make sure you've really warmed them up and good luck. Please let me know how it goes. And don't forget to click subscribe. Thank you very much.